In this demo, I would like to show you the new built-in process modeling capabilities of SAP Solution Manager 7.2. We can enter the process management area from the SAP Solution Manager Launchpad. Here we have a tile which is called Solution Documentation, which will allow you to enter and use the process management capabilities of Solution Manager. What we now have to do is we have to find the correct place where we would like to add a process diagram with the process modeling capabilities. So we have to navigate to the area where we would like to add a process diagram to our process documentation. In this example, we will add a process diagram to an order to cache process in Solution Manager 7.2. So what we see here now is the already existing process documentation and we will add a new diagram here to this order to cache process. We start with the right click and we select a new collaboration diagram from the menu. We then have to enter a name for that diagram, and after doing so, we will save the diagram, and we then enter the diagram directly from the list of elements. When we start, we see that there's nothing inside because we just created this diagram, and we will now start modeling the process diagram to our needs using the new built-in modeling capabilities of Solution Manager 7.2. We start adding some lanes. So we have a role-based diagram, which we created. We could have also added a system-based diagram. And when creating, we could also choose if the diagram will be vertical or horizontal. So in this case, we'll start now adding some lanes. And these lanes will represent the roles which are being described in the diagram, because these roles are relevant to the process which we model. We can select these roles from the tool, and we can search for existing roles and then just can drag one of these roles as a new lane into our diagram. So we have a sales agent now. We will then check for another existing role, which is the warehouse clerk, which we would like to document in our diagram, which we find also and drag over to our modeling area. And as a third role, we will search for an accountant, which we also add to the process diagram. After adding these three lanes, we can now start directly modeling our business process. So we'll center the diagram, switch the view, and now start to add a new process step. So we always start, or in this case, we start with a start element in the process. We just select it from the palette and drag it over to the process modeling area. With these helper lines, it is very easy to, to create this diagram very nicely because we always can center elements which we create or we can arrange elements so that they are very nicely positioned within um, in relationship to the other elements. From this start element, we now just select it and we can directly now select a new process step which we would like to create within the diagram. So we select the process step and we immediately get a list of all existing process steps from our solution documentation. So this also shows that this modeling area is fully integrated with the existing solution documentation capabilities in Solution Manager. Here, we select the Create Quotation Process step directly from the list. We can arrange it so it is nicely in line with the start event. And we now start modeling from here, and we go on in the same way. So we have now created this first process step. We click on it again. And again, we can select another process step or another entity, what we would like to model within the diagram. So we again select the process step and we will see the list of existing process steps again. So we can select an existing process step and just add it to the diagram. And this is the way how we go on, how we can very easily model within Solution Manager using already existing solution documentation, already existing elements, and just have a very quick and easy way to model this process diagram fully integrated into the existing parts of the process management in Solution Manager. So when we now have created some more process steps, we also can just directly drag the existing process step to another lane. So this is also relevant if you have more than one role in this process which you are demonstrating or modeling, then you can directly move the step into the right lane, into, to the right role for this um, process. Now we go on with modeling, and now we have a decision in our process which we also would like to model in the diagram. And for doing so, we just select this decision from the palette, from the small context menu. 
we can name it so we all, always know what um, is the decision which is going on in this process now. And from here, we can just start continuing the uh, modeling process. We now have another process step which will follow after this um, decision, which is either to create a transfer order, which we directly can add, or um, we can add another process step based on the process flow in the company. So we also have to label these decisions here. And we now just continue modeling the process, selecting from the existing process steps and arranging these process steps so the diagram afterwards looks very nice. So when we are finished doing so, we just continue labeling also the lanes so we can see immediately what the process flows or the options within the process flow are. And after doing so, we just finish modeling our diagram by adding one more process step in the accountant's lane. And we just want to move it a little bit, we arrange it, and we add an end event. So what you see here now is that we can very easily model process diagrams fully integrated into SAP Solution Manager, fully integrated into the process management capabilities, and using already existing elements from our solution documentation. This diagram is now attached to the solution documentation. It is attached to the process where we started creating it. So it is part of the solution documentation now and can be used for every purpose.